Damn, man. That, that, I, yeah, I just found out. And, uh, wow. No, I can't. I, I just wish his family, you know what I mean, the best. It's my condolences out to them. He's one of the greatest, great, to me, he's the greatest player, player ever to play the game. To me, I watched Kobe all my life, so, um, damn, Black Mama. That's, we just really send prayers and condolences out to his family. Yeah. He's, he was an amazing human and not only inspired just basketball, but, like, the world. The world. And to the other families involved, we, we heard that not only was his daughter there, but a teammate. And so, like, our heart really goes out to the families. It's a, it's a very tragic day in, 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 in that aspect. But, like, really, our heart goes out. I don't, we don't know what to say, but, like, we all love to the family. All love. Oh, that was so weird this morning. That just doesn't seem real. I feel so bad. Just to, And I've got a 12-and-a-half-year-old daughter, too, and it's just like... I, my heart goes out to uh, to him, to his family. I'm an LA native, so that's uh, excuse my language. Uh, it hits home, and the energy today shifted. Um, so we mourning, and you know, but luckily we had the Grammys, and we still blessed. But um, this is tragic, and uh, it's, it's unfortunate. But, but the way to keep his legacy is to is to outwork yourself every day. Yeah, that's what he did. Yeah. You gotta keep outworking yourself. That's what he stood for. That's what he represented. It always feels weird when somebody that you look up to or a legend to you always passes. It feels weird every time. And it, it almost leaves a little bit of hole because it's something that was a party. It's something that you grew up with. So Kobe is definitely going to be missed. You know what I mean? Definitely. Kobe feels like someone you knew. I know. He feels like Why someone you knew. Why do we feel like we knew well, him and, and, and mourning him it truly? Actually feels, he motivated us. Yeah. He motivated yeah. us, yo. This I'm part of our lives. It's, 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 it's I crazy. Wanted to play it's like that like close him. to him. But well, we, we're praying for his family. It was yeah. one of the first things we did when we woke up and when we saw it because it was pretty unbelievable. Yeah. And still we just, it's still unbelievable. we're trying to uplift them. It, all of it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. It, this day kind of is kind of mixed with a bit of joy and sadness. Yeah, for sure. Very, definitely. I love I loved watching Kobe. And that used to love hearing about his work ethic back in the day, which is kind of, you know, emulates with us in how we like to do our stuff too. Yeah, the legacy lives on. Nobody That's had right. that drive, man. That's Nobody had that drive, yo. He had the, he was, he worked the hardest. He worked the hardest to me. I honestly was two. I was two seconds away from just canceling everything, but I got my mother here. I got my grandmother coming, my sister. So you know, it's a big celebration. It's bittersweet already with Nipsey, but hearing the Kobe news, that's that's devastating. It's funny because right here at Staples Center, I saw Kobe and Jay Z and Kanye had just hopped off stage performing one of my records like 12 times back to back to back, and he, uh, I told him that, and he was like, okay, well, what's next? So you know, that was something. I'm like, he's just always competitive. You know, it transcended from the court to real life really a very sad day and from the east coast you know being in the house that he was such a part of but you know also understanding that he lost the family lost that beautiful little 13 year old daughter i mean it just i hope everyone just steps back and thinks about this and gives their loved ones a special hug and a kiss and don't take anything for granted. Uh, he was a, for me, he was a great competitor on the court, but a great human being off the court, the way I knew him. And uh, it just seems so unfair. So condo condolences go to his loved ones, his family, and especially I feel so sad about, I think her name was Gianni. Um, it, so we should pinch ourselves and make sure we remember those that care we care most about well it's special about him you know i'm a little concerned what's going on in our country and the western world and the real the way people are at extremes and uh the two things that build a sense of community are sports and music and he being an athlete like he was used his platform to do so much good and we need more of that, and I'm going to, I feel horrible about the loss. I mean, it's a horrible loss for the world, and I think everyone thinks about Kobe as this incredible basketball player, but he was just such an incredible human being and would help anyone, anytime. 
you know, and, and he was just such a competitor in everything that he, that he did. I, I actually met him for the first time seven years ago when he was in the you know peak of his his playing career, and he would call me all the time and really just want to talk about how could he win in business. And the same intensity that made him who he was on the court was the same intensity that he had to be the best he could be in business and really in everything that he did. And, and uh, you know, I remember so many conversations with Kobe just about his determination to win in everything that he did. And he's also somebody that, that um, you know, I would call with questions about, hey, you know, do you have a perspective on this? And he was always so quick to get on the phone and give a perspective. And that's just who he was. And he'd help anybody, anytime. You know, as I said, I met him seven years ago, and I remember, uh, and, and this is, it's, it's a crazy story, I probably shouldn't be telling, but I remember Kobe would call, when I first met him in the first few months, he would call and text so many times that my girlfriend at that time would joke, is that really Kobe, or is that like somebody else saved in your phone, is Kobe, because he was so intense about business, he had, you know, he, he would he would ask, you know, 50 questions, 50 different, you know, questions in a day about how could he you know, win in business. And again, that intensity that made him who he was in the court, made him who he was in his personal life, and made him who he was uh, from a business perspective. So, you know, I just, I never saw somebody that had so much intensity in everything that they did. And I know from the second, you know, I met him that he was going to be incredibly successful off the court because that's just, that's who he was.